All right, guys, thanks for stopping in the garage. Uh, part three on the, well, this is a big lawn boy project for me, right? Three parts. Um, but we were going in, you know, we went in deep, and uh, now we're going to make it righteous. All right, so let's find out what happens and what I did. And I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching all the other two parts. I really hope that, you know, you stay around for this part, watch the whole thing. Um, like I said, we got a, like I teased it in the other one. We got a little surprise at the end. So let's get started. Sometimes, like this one was really frayed. This, this cigarette line is almost done. Careful, it'll get too hot. But it does a nice job. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's frayed. All right, let me do this, and we got a couple other things to do. I love these lawn boy blades. This one's a little bit beater, not by much. It's just got a little bit of pitting. Look at how thick they are and big. I mean, they're heavy duty. And that's the, it helps with the mulch and the bagging. So just ground them, you know, with the, with the grinder. This one's a little bit better. We're gonna take this one. Use the grinder, clean everything up, then the wire wheel, and I wipe them down with some solvent. Let's throw a little paint on them. Um, Cause I have some stuff to do, so we can just let them dry. I'll use this nice fusion all-in-one paint primer, Satan black, right? Let's just clean this off, cause it's nasty. We wanna make sure that we're gonna get a good, you know, lock. Okay, the bolt's been oiled, but I just wanna put, wanted to put a little bit of no seed on it. Let's see, it's gotta lock in. Yeah, it locks into those guys. Really heavy duty. I love it. I know we're gonna be. I know it came out nice, right? But we're gonna be digging that into the ground. But you know, it's just nice to do. There's the blammo gun, fellas. Oh, it's all the way over there. Was it five eighths? Yeah, I think so. Oil daily. I forgot to oil it. I oil it. I don't know. I don't oil it daily, but. You're supposed to oil them nice. on the lowest setting on this. This is like 500 foot pounds, but it's not. You can't really go by the torque that they say because it's a banger gun, right? It, that's a whole different thing than torque, you know, itself. Just a standard turning force, right? It's banging. It's banging. All right, that another cool. These things are cool. All right, let's turn it upright. Now, what do I do now? So it doesn't run right. Do we just try maybe, let me go find the cover for it. Cause you know, that blade's wide open now. So let's get the cover on that. Safety first. All right, I got two, but I might have more. I don't remember which was, I, don't, I didn't have one I don't think. They both say easy mulch. This one's a little bit more oxidized. Um, this one says easy mulch in a fancy way. It's a little cleaner. Um, this one might go better on the, the unit that we're selling, but I think this one goes better here. Let's clean it up a little bit though. It, they're the same. All right, it just doesn't feel like this carb is sitting right and this bracket might be bent and it doesn't look like it's sealing well I remember that was where it was broken before. Maybe it got hit and it broke that. So let's let's take the carb off and let me fool around with that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it, it's on an angle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and bend it. Just we're just gonna bend it a little bit. All right, let's give it a little test. Okay, so I move the carburetor back a little, give it a little bit of juice.
Okay, we gotta let it run. Also, the kill switch isn't working right yet, but there could just be a little bit of junk on it. We didn't check that. Let's bring it outside and let it run because it's stinking it up in here. It needs to run. All right, let's try again. This will probably fix itself as you keep going back and forth. But if we have to, we'll put a little sandpaper on I also painted in that area. I tried to stay away from it. Oh, that's plenty. All right, she needs to run. I think it ran out of fuel. Yeah, that's a bit of water coming out of there. There's a little bit less of it now because she's starting to heat up, but she's still not all that hot yet. Um, I'm gonna run it again a little bit longer. good it's puffing some smoke that's okay let's take a look at the oil um one reason is is the rings are probably a little tired but they may break in and the valve right in the guide is a little wobbly remember so that'll pass oil through it but also this oil is also very oh my is it thin it's just coming out like water yeah we'll get you a look in a minute but look at that and this oil was a little cleaner so i think we're getting better oh wow look at that you might want to put uh, the rest of that used oil in here and run it again because this is still black I and mean, it was bad in there like I said this is saving an old generally I wouldn't have saved something like this 
because um, it has all the earmarks of you know a worn motor, especially especially something that says commercial because they you know they they you know how those guys are right they overuse it. They don't care, right? They just want to get the job done. They're using it forever. I mean, it's all day long, day after day, they use some of these machines. So definitely, I think we should let that drip. We'll pour a little bit more oil in there, and I'll finish up the rest of the machine, work on some other stuff, get it going good, and uh, and then we'll dump the oil one last time. Let me get you in close on that. Yeah, she came out like water. It was halfway decent oil. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't black like this. All right, one last thing before I pack it in tonight. All right, these are almost always dirty, so let's pull this out. It seems to be working at all, but and we'll glue a gasket on like I have on my uh, on my YouTube channel, where a lot of people like that fix. So we're just gonna they make a tool for it, but you know, a couple of few screwdrivers. Probably not gonna be able to see everything I'm doing. This is getting late. There it goes. I'm tired, but yeah, see all the goobers in there. All right, let me clean that out and I'll show you how I want to glue. Just got to push it back in with your fingers. You know, you can bend out the screen a little bit, you know, still keep the concentricity to it, but bend it out so it grabs. And then when you shove this in, you kind of have to make sure that it's seated, you know, in the boot. And if you want, you can put a little, to make it go in a little easier, I always put a little bit of, you know, I like to use either two-stroke or WD-40. That's my tranny fluid stuff. And you got to push from here, not the bulb, because you'll offset the bulb and it, it, it'll, it won't seat right. And just work it down. It's, it's getting seated properly. Here's one lock. Okay, make sure the locks are on. Make sure she's down all the way. She is. Yeah, that's good. We don't need it everywhere. You just need a bit of RTV around here. Now, these are a little different. These are more stronger, and but we're just going to put a little bit. And because... Where's this thing go? Yeah, like that. And because... Um, this is a little, a little bit better kind of design. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to put some on the gasket and not try to get it. And it's got a little bit of junk in it, so we want to get it here because it's old. We don't need it all the way around. This is the area where it seals. Just make sure that hole is okay. Now on the other design, I usually backfill, and I'll show you where I do it. It's kind of wicked up and underneath. So I'm just backfilling, and then just spread it out. All right, I'm going to leave that till tomorrow. We'll be back. That should that, that, that won't be an issue. Yeah, that's good. probably put it on but I always say don't because you could squeeze it out and have a problem and it'll get in the holes so I'd rather just leave it and then we'll tighten it tomorrow the next morning okay a lot of it is just carbon black but it, it pulled out a lot see all the sediment I thing about these plastic containers is they have this attraction to the dirt Maybe it's like electrostatic charging or something. It's not just gravity. I mean, that's part of it. We leave it sit out overnight, and you can see what settles. All right, let's let's get rid of that. Let's get some more oil in. That's all the sludge. And this is remember, this is the second time. See, there's also a little bit of that silvery. You know. Well, we're getting it out. Best we can do is just get it out. Yeah. All right, let me throw all that out. <clears throat> Let's fix this wheel. We'll do all the wheels, but this one's bent. It's leaning, and it's going to, in the constant left-hand turn. I'm just going to pull it apart. Oh, it feels pretty good. 
you guys know where I can get this paint from, and that's a little stuck in there. All right, we'll pull that apart. We'll get some grease in it. I mean, that's one heavy wheel, guys. Oh my God. And then this has got a nut or something. So we gotta bend that back. We're gonna need to do this on the vise and give it a chick. Um, I would be careful about banging it here. It's an awfully heavy piece of steel. You probably could, but it's aluminum, which can all of a sudden crack. And since it's pretty goobed up, we'll just take it off. Put this on earlier. We painted that a little bit yesterday. I think it could have used a little bit more paint, but especially up here. But it's okay. All right. Just make sure it's clean and de-rusted. It's not bad. It's in pretty good shape. So this guy is just a little bit bent. I'm just going to take it over to the vise and bend it straight, and we'll see. I drove this apart. It's kind of stuck on there. I'm going to run this on the wire wheel. I'm going to put some, I'll clean this out with a little solvent. Maybe run a brush through that because it's kind of naggy. Blow it out. I'll put some oil in. Blow it out. It's not too bad, and then we'll pump it full of grease when we're done. Pretty dirty. Just trying to get the years of the muck. I went through with the wire wheel on everything, um, on all the hardware. And this, like I said, I blew, also blew a little bit of uh, brake cleaner into the into here. And then it's just the years of muck. It's better, right? We'll put oil in after I blow it, and then we'll grease it, and that should push out enough of the muck. Look at, look at the muck that's in there. I'll do all of them. I ran all of the hardware on the wire wheel on the bench. This one's nice and straight now. So I'm going to do, we'll put it back together in a minute. I think maybe we'll put a little bit of silver paint on this because this rots quick. It's in good shape. Even the, even the plastic's still on it. It's just rusted. If the bend is still correct. All right, we'll be back. Almost ready. Not bad. I wiped it out, <clears throat> blew it out, put a little oil in it. You know, it's gonna drip. That's okay. All right, we'll rinse off the machine after I use it in the garden and to grind up and cut a little few things. We'll rinse it off, and that'll get rid of the debris. I mean, you want to get the junk out. I'm sure these bearings are replaceable, of course, right? On a machine like this, I'll just start off with a little bit of grease. Yeah, it's nice. I just put some of that quick dry on there. Just a high temp, but it's it's like a quick dry, aluminized paint. That's all get all this stuff buttered. Yeah. It feels nice. It looks straight. I think it's straighter. It's definitely straighter. Is it straight enough? I don't know. We won't find out until we put the wheel on. I mean, it can be a little bit off, but it was really steering hard to the left. Yeah, that's good. The tires are in okay shape. Yeah, I think that's perfect, guys. I'm gonna go do all of them like that. Look at that. All right, let's go get some grease, and we'll put some grease in there. You hear it? Let's see. Look at that grease fittings. That's good, I just saw it come out. Three pumps? Yeah, here. Yeah, it's starting to. They don't make them like that. <clears throat> well, this is commercial. What we just need now, what we need now is the, um, I know the paint code for 
the body, but we need the paint coat for the wheels so we can make it mitt in the future. All right, I'm going to do all the others. All right, she's running good, but she is burning a little bit of oil. We're going to solve that problem now. We've got it hot. Yeah, it's nice and hot, nice and liquidy. And we've got out more of the junk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now let's get all that out. I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in here. Let's let it drip for a little bit. All right, so these motors, they take about 24 ounces, which is marked about here, all right? So we're gonna start off by adding in some flavorants, okay, some secret sauces. 80W90, she burned oil, okay? We gotta make it stop. And this has got a bit of sulfur in it, it's gear oil, it's your basic gear oil, um, good stuff, all right? Got a little bit of that salt. There's two different types of sulfur, there's like, active and, and something else, I forget. They basically are high pressure lubricants and that's what it's designed for. They used to put them in oil, but when you have so many cars, you know, well, that should work. We don't need a lot. We'll start off with this much. We can always put a little more next time. Um, so that's just gonna thicken everything up. You'll see it's gonna be used. I'm gonna be using this in the heat. Then we have some heavy duty Lucas oil stabilizer, we're just gonna, that's got other necessary nutrients. I'm not gonna put much, but this is a little even thicker, see, it's gooey. So this is even thicker, all right? And then, I'm just gonna go with budget oil, Pennzoil, 10W30, which we could really use a 40 weight, but you know, like you put a 2050 in, you could do that too. All right, and we're not gonna go all the way up to that line because a lot of times there's, um, there's left oil left in the engine, especially this one because this dip, dipstick doesn't really turn. So even when I first emptied it, so there's gonna be something left in there. I'm gonna stir it up, we'll use the dipstick. And then lastly, we'll put a little bit of this Lucas upper cylinder lubricant in the fuel. Um, and then I'll go and I'll use it for stuff. I'm going to use it in the garden and I'm going to use it around the yard a little bit. And we'll just leave this in here and, you know, at some point in the future, I'll change it out. We'll keep an eye on it. It's going to burn a little oil at first, but we're going to run this thing a little later and I'm going to get it good and hot and we're going to be looking to see if some of that oil burning is gone. I smelled it before coming in the shop. It reminded me of like when I was a kid and with mini bikes and stuff and engines that were a little bit beat and you're revving the hell out of them and they burn some oil and it, yeah, it's a nice smell. All right, we put this in. We're going to get started on, uh, we're going to finish, do the handlebars and a few other things. I'll show you what I want to do. All right, I want to clean up the handlebars, but before I do that, I got a lot of those wing nuts from other machines. So how about I lube all this up, bust it all apart, put it back together with some wing nuts and then we'll just kind of wipe this handlebar down and we'll ask the tree a little bit of scotch bright and, uh, and then I'll blow some paint on it. And we're also gonna do the rod too for uh, the bag. But it doesn't really need it, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of, of uh, my fast etch on, this, on a pad, scotch bright pad. Just cause there's some bumpies. And you know, because why not, right? I even need a little sandpaper on it. I just degreased it quickly because you can't have any. Yeah, we need a little, little bit of sandpaper on that. That's what we do. I'll just put this on there for a minute. All right, we'll use some of this nice fusion paint that we got. Actually, looks good just like that. You could clear over it if you wanted to. It really did. It made it, made it look a lot nicer. Uh, but we'll give it a little coat. And then we'll clean the deck off because now that we're done getting, you know, with the grease. Yeah, she looks real good. <clears throat> so I'll pull the grease and oil off of the deck in a little bit. All right, let me shut the camera off and cover it because we're going to get junk on it. You're in the way. Let's do the fuel line and tank run. Yeah, we'll just put a little, little lubricant on that bushing. There's a bushing that goes in here. 
um, like a seal. Uh, uh. I need to order some Briggs line. You guys got to remind me. Um, this line is the fine line that I bought. is fine. It's like the aftermarket line. It's good. It's made in the United States. It's just heavier, and it's probably just a little too heavy for what we need. And it won't pass through like certain things where the line gets fished through certain stuff because it's just a little bit bigger, thicker. It's correct inside diameter. Not wrong with it. It's in, it was inexpensive. Now nothing is inexpensive. I don't really want it to dip, but I think that's fine. Good. Done. Now this guy's a little bit messed up, so my plan was, let me just give it another wipe. My plan was to put it up in there, smear a little RTV around it, and then maybe put a couple of small tie wraps to hold it. And then eventually the RTV will set up. Just wipe it again. Okay, you can't really see it, but you know, it'll set up. I think we'll be fine. It's, it's on there. We're not gonna run it right away. This I cleaned up, it actually cleaned up. Just a little bit of, the, you know, super clean. Put a little water, and, uh, and I just blew it out. We'll get another one at some point. And I think it just lays on there, and then you put this guy on. Put a little bit of no seize on this. There's no, I don't think there is a top that goes with this, and I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna try to get the sticker off. Okay, if you remember, this, this is the top. By the way, we gotta take this plastic piece off. It just snaps in, we'll clean that up. That's the next tree. That's like the that's like the only extra plastic you get on commercial. Let's see if we can get that off. Maybe we can get it off in kind of one piece. I think we're gonna get it. It's kind of ripped there, but it's ripping a little bit. Let's see if we can get it from another angle. We can only try, right? Well, we got it. All right, let's put it back. So this is jammed. It's got a little plastic ring around here. Um, when I get a chance, Okay, old dog, I'll wire wheel that and we'll get a date. I can't see it now. Probably would fit better if I had the gas tank on first. But it should go on. Yeah, that's it. It's not great, it's wrinkled. Let's see. No, it's not too bad. We might have to put a little bit more glue down a few spots. You'll see. There we go. Should be enough. Not for now, we'll put more in later. We'll just squeeze a little bit of this in. That's our top cylinder lube. And I use it a little bit more as a break in. All right, just a little bit of clear. Just to protect it. So that when I come back to it another time, get the stickers and whatever we can. Should probably take that up and get the aluminum underneath. So protect the, the plastics and UV and all right, let me finish that up and we'll take a look. All right, almost guys, what do you think? It's coming out nice. I'm just letting it tack up. This clear uh, is really nice. It's it dries pretty quick, so um, I mean, it's not ready for, you know, brush use and the lawn use, but it's, you know, you can touch it. Um, so let's bring it outside and I got a surprise. I think I got a surprise for us, so stand by. 
Okay, so we got the valve pulled back. I'm gonna turn the valve on. All right, give it a minute. Set it to full, and we just gotta let it fill up. It's not blowing smoke now. Breaking in. used oil and in fact you know the more carbon black in it the better and you could just let it soak right into these tires these got I really clean these good between the pressure washer and the chemicals so they're like sponges and I want to get something in them to stop them from just sucking up all the yuck and water and you know they're kind of getting beaten and tired. So just do them outside, let that all soak in. And then yeah, it'll make a bit of a mess. You can give them a bit of a wipe with an old rag or some paper towels or whatever. And then uh, later on when I'm done with the machine, it's going to attract dirt. Um, but it won't keep doing that. So I'll just rinse the machine off when I'm done. You know, I'm using it today. And I also have this chute, which is the little darker color. The other one's more like a teal blue. A little broken down there. Um, I might have another, but these are just the ones I happen to know. This is probably more closer to the correct one. I think the other one's older, if I remember the color scheme. 
So I found my spring compressor. Look, see? Look, I told you I had it. Anyway, this should be the correct one. And, you know, it, it stands to reason because if I had the tongs, I guess you would call them, you know, the parts that fit on the spring and the valve. If I had those laying around, I think they're for this. I, I you know, I don't really know. But anyway, this looks like the correct one. All right, guys, what do you think? I think it came out really good. I didn't get too crazy with it, but this was a big job. Uh, it was a little bit more than I kind of really wanted to do, but I figured something like this would happen. It is an industrial or commercial machine, and they get road hard and put away wet. She sure, certainly is real pretty now. I'm um, very happy to have it. I want to shout out to Mikey for the bag, right? He set, it, uh, set me up with the bag, so we have something really cool for that. I'm going to hold on to this one for a while. I'm going to be having it in the garden, uh, grinding up, and you guys, when I'm, I might not even... Maybe I shouldn't even put that little video excerpt in because you guys are like, no, dude. We're going to put it to work and we're going to keep after it. We're going to keep it nice. I'm also going to use it to cut the lawn periodically. I got the adjusters on the handle. So down here as well as in the middle of the handle. So in the winter time or wherever I want to keep it, I can kind of pack it up and put it away. Because like I said, I like to have it for a little while. We have others coming up. I got some ones that are much older, two strokers. I have one coming up that I just want to do. Probably going to sell it. It's got a uh, Takami on it, and uh, it's the steel body, and uh, you see it in the beginning uh, when I'm cleaning these things. I get a big project. Um, we still need to figure out what the wheel paint is, and uh, I'll pick up some body paint at some point in the future. That can be done another time. I keep it nice and uh, you know I could sell this thing and probably I would think somebody would want this right because uh, it is in a nice shape we were able to save the motor which is something I don't usually do um, you could see how much was involved in it but it is a really nice machine you can see that you know motors like this they uh, like I said rode hard and put away wet it that's why I have other motors a lot of times it's just not worth it but if I tried to take it off most likely one of those three bolts would have broken and then as far as I'm concerned it's just too much anyway guys that's it for this one I could just keep going on I really like it it's a great machine to have I did sell my second Honda so I was thinking well since I just have the one Honda now uh, why not you know kind of set something up nice and I can grind the garden and do other projects and use it for cutting the lawn I like the bag system on these they just fill the bag really well it's got a great blade system on it, very heavy duty. See, I'm just going to keep going on, right? All right, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks for watching.